So look, I'm gonna actually record the call. I only said not recording the call. Uh, look, I'm, I'm gonna actually record the call. I'm, I'm gonna put it on YouTube afterwards, but you know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna record the call. I, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna record the call. But um, one second. Okay, cool. So starting off the call, family, um, gonna be going through a lot of information. Uh, I hope you guys, like I said, if you guys have questions as I'm going through it, I will open up the lineup for questions. But one thing I do ask out of respect is, uh, can you guys get rid of all distractions? And uh, if you're taking notes, please take notes on everything. Because again, it's going to be somebody on the line. It's going to be somebody on the line that actually, you know, take a nugget that I'm going to say and actually run with it and really blow up. Because guys, once I got it, 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 it clicked in my mindset. Once I got it, it clicked in my mindset. And I literally told myself, like, within the next 60 to 90 days, I'm, I'm, I'm about to supernaturally blow up my brand. I'm, I'm about to supernaturally blow up my pers personal brand. Because I'm like, man, Xavier, you bring a lot of value to the table. So the same thought process that I'm thinking for myself, I'm about to give it to all of you guys, right? So you guys can supernaturally blow you guys' brand up as well, too, so you can get known it on, on any social media platform, right? So, so cool. Jumping into everything, starting off with everything, the first thing I want to talk about is this, family. Uh, when it comes to the business that we in, when it comes to the business that we in, you have to understand that I'm Academy only pays you for two things. If you're if you on the business aspect, if you say anything with a C out your mouth, chairman, they pay for two things. They pay you for bringing in customers and teaching other people how to bring in customers. That's the two things that I'm Academy actually, uh, you know, pays you for when it comes to the business aspect, not talking about trading, right? So, um, cool. So the first thing first, when it comes to social media, when it comes to your business, you have to ask yourself these two questions. Number one is this, who are you? Number one is who are you? You know, you have to identify yourself and you have to be real with yourself. You know, who are you? You have to identify yourself and be real with yourself. So what do I mean? Like, like, what do I mean? Who are you? So when I came to, when it came to a grips with, with me, I had to tell myself, okay, cool. JVL, you know, who, who is JVL? Uh, a lot of you guys hit on my story all the time. The person that tells their story the most makes the most money. That's a gem. <laughs> so um, who is JVL? So JVL is somebody that I did not go to college. A lot of you guys know my story. I did not go to college, um, did not take the job route or anything like that. Uh, I come from, you know, I grew up in the hood. Um, <clears throat> you know, my mother raised four kids by herself. My dad was in the streets. Um, so... You know, and I, that, that's, that's pretty much who JVO is. JVO was just somebody that was just tired of being tired, you know, just really, just really wanted to get out of my city and really wanted to start traveling the world and live a financially free life and put other people in a position to become financially free too. So that's pretty much who JVO is. That's pretty much my story, right? So you have to be uncut. You have to be real with yourself and ask yourself, who the heck are you and what the heck is your story? If you, especially if you're a leader, what is your story? And who the heck are you? That's number one. Number two is this. What type of people are you looking for in your business? What type of people are you looking for in your organization? So what do I mean? The type of people that's going to join your business, your organization, your family is people that, that have the same likeness as you. Because again, birds of a feather flock together. So if you somebody that, 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 that have a certain lifestyle and don't have a lot, certain lifestyle, you might attract certain people because the, the story that you, that you, that you might attract certain individuals to your brand, to your, to your business because of your story, because of who you are. Because who you are as a person is, is the type of individual that you actually attract towards you. And be real and be uncut because again, how do people supposed to relate if you can't reach them? If you can't reach somebody, you can't relate. Perfect example. Growing up in, in school, why do you think that, you know, me personally, I listened more to rappers than my teachers because I related more to rappers than my teachers because it, we, we didn't really relate. So what I'm saying is the same concept. How do somebody supposed to feel you if they can't relate to you? So if you somebody be super uncut with your story, be super uncut about who you are, because again, your story is what gets people to join your movement, right? Why do you think you look up to certain individuals? Because again, you relate to their story. Like, people are not going to join you because of your business. They're going to join you because of who you are. So you got to ask yourself, who the heck are you? Because it's thousands, it's 7 billion people in the world. Out of that 7 billion people, I guarantee you, is 1% out of 7 billion that can relate to your story. You got to think about that. 
Um, so cool. That's the two questions you want to ask yourself when it comes to social media and, and, and basically cold marketing. My next point is when it comes to Instagram, when it comes to Instagram, and um, I had a little, I had a transformation of my mindset personally, and to really come to a grips and really understand this, when it comes to uh, Instagram, when it comes to Instagram, uh, when it comes to starting a campaign on Instagram, it needs to be looked at like a project. I've been preaching about this for the past couple of months, right? I even got this from some of my seven figure mentors. Yo, Instagram needs to be looked at as a, as a campaign, as a, as a project. You can't look at it like I'm just posting on Instagram. You can't look at it like I'm just posting on social media. No, it has to be really looked at like a project. And I'm going to show you guys how to make it into a project, right? Because again, even, uh, because again, when, if you look at it like a project, that means that you dropping things systematically instead of just drop, just, just instead of posting things, right? So it needs to be looked at like a campaign, need to be looked at like a project and, and, and systematic. So Per perfect example, perfect example. I'm gonna give you guys an example real fast. I'm gonna actually show my screen. Check this out. So what, what I mean by how, how your Instagram need to be looked at as a project is like this. If I go to my profile, as you guys can see, so we just literally came back from a retreat out in Los Angeles in LA. Can you guys see my screen? Cool. So. What I mean is, yo, how your Instagram needs to be systematically looked at as a project. Guys, when I went to LA, when I decided to spend hella bread on drip and things like that, I wasn't doing it just to buy it. I did it systematically because it's a, it's a, it's a method and the reason behind I do, why I do everything. So when I went to LA, um, I, I knew for a fact how many pictures I was going to take. I knew for a fact how many videos I was going to make. So like now to this day, a week later, two weeks later, I'm systematically dropping things on my Instagram. So it looks like I'm still in LA, but I'm really in Chicago, right? So when I went there, I'm like, okay, cool. I took, I took this picture. This was in LA. This was in LA. This was in LA. And this was in LA, right? So what I'm saying is family, uh, when you guys see chairmen posting on social media, they not just, guys, they took pictures. Guys, I'm gonna break it down. They didn't just take those pictures today, no. They took those pictures a week ago. They damn near took about uh, five to 10 pictures in, in one day. Because if you're a real entrepreneur, you know how to make one day look like one week, right? So these pictures that I'm posting all throughout this week, these are pictures that I took last week and I, I'm systematically just posting every day, boosting my engagement on my, on my, on my social media, right? So my next point is this. So you need to look at your network like this, family. So um, chairman, cold market. Okay, cool. So look, you need your network to go chairman. So understand this, family. You have to understand that, okay, if I look at my business, family, 95%, no, 90% of my business is all strangers. 90% of my business is all strangers. 10% of my business is from my hometown, 10%. But 90% of my business is all cold market. It's all on social media, all on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, all from social, YouTube too, all from social media. 90% of my business. Every chairman that you guys are gonna meet, majority of them, 90% of their business, 95% of their business, all strangers. So if you're where you at right now, you wonder why my friends ain't joining, cool. That's a part of the process because in order for you to go chairman, you're going to go chairman with a lot of strangers because strangers see for where you're going and people who you know see for where you're at. Um, that's why it's important that you really, make, uh, really, really take advantage of social media. Um, my next point is um, on social media, you want to follow people who are interesting. When it comes to social media, you want to follow people who is interesting. Follow interesting people on social media because birds of a feather flock together. Right, and the most engaged people that's gonna blow your business up is people that's interesting on social media. If you look like an interesting person, I wanna be, yo, I wanna be around you because you look lit. So follow the most interesting people on social media, and also you wanna be natural. Be 100% natural when it comes to social media. 100% natural. Understand this, family. 
Your Instagram has to be interesting and full of light. And this doesn't just go for Instagram. I'm just using Instagram because I, because I, I really love Instagram, uh, but, your, but your Facebook as well too. So your Instagram and Facebook has to be interesting and full of life. It has to be full of life and it has to be interesting because that will bring you a lot of attention. Guys, I really, I really want y'all to really get this. I really want y'all to, because when I got it, a light bulb clicked in my head. So your Instagram, your social media need to be interesting and full of life. And that will bring you a lot of attention. That will bring you a lot of engagement, a lot of engagement. So understand that your, your social media and your Instagram, it has to be dope. It has to be cute. If you're a woman, hey, sex sales. I'm like your looks, I promise you, your beauty, that, that's what gets people engagement. Gage. I'm not even lying. I'd be lying if I told you, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't. So it has to be dope. It has, if you're a woman, it ha, again, it has to be cute, um, motivating, and full of life. It has to be full of life, and um, you ha, it has to be real, and it has to be hilarious. And it has to be hilarious. This is your page. She said, you had me, you had, <laughs> you're a hand. <laughs> she, she funny. Okay. Uh, one second, guys. Cool. So uh, now that y'all understand that, my next point is this. When people come to your page, they should, already, they should already know and expect what you're about to post. When people come to your page, they should already know what to expect, right? They should already know what to expect, right? The main objective for social media is to get traffic to your brand, to get traffic to your page, to get traffic to you, right? To get traffic to your page. So people can click the link in your bio to see what the heck you do, right? The main objective is to draw people engagement to your page on Facebook, Instagram, to get people to funnel them to click the link in your bio. And the link in your bio needs to be a video about what you do or a meeting about what you do. Like me personally, the thing what I got in my bio, um, because people already, I've been doing this for two years, people already know what I do. So like I got a mask set up as like, you know, if a person want to book a, a meeting with me, they can book a meeting, confirm it. Uh, they fill out all of this. What's my what's your phone number, Instagram name? Uh, why do you want to do Forex trading? What can it do for you? How much time are you able to dedicate towards learning a new skill? Would you consider yourself an overachiever or underachiever? Uh, what did you like best about the webinar video? Uh, are you ready to get started? And it's 3, 324. Boom, straight to the point. I run a business. I run a business. So for yours, because you start no. Put a, a, a link of, of a video explaining what it is that you do in your bio. You can do that. And it's the thing. If you from the hood, don't put no video of Alex Morton in your bio. How in the heck can people relate to Alex Morton? That makes no sense. So I would say this, family. If you want to put a video of somebody who, who, who have the similar story to the people that, because again, who are you? Because the video that's in your bio has to be a resemblance of who you are so people can relate. And if you guys want to, I say you guys can make your own video. If you, I'm not saying to do it, but I'm just saying, like, you got to really think about it. Like, um, this is your network. People are going to join you because uh, if, if, you, if they can relate to you. So if they watching the video and they can relate to the story, uh, then that's what's going to get them to start. Right? So, um, cool. That's the main thing. My next point is this, um, make sure that you are creating a story of pictures that people will love to come and see. Make sure that you are creating a story of pictures and videos that people will love to come and see. Like, and I'm gonna give you guys a perfect example. Like the pictures that you post, it gotta be lit like, like in real life. Like some of y'all know that y'all really lit behind the scenes for real, for real. Like your Instagram page, your social media page, should just be super interesting. That's it. It doesn't even it just always have to be about your business because you post an interesting pictures is going to get gain engagement. You're going to look like a lit person, right? Because again, money attracts the high energy. Money attracts to high energy people attract the high energy people, right? If you look like a person full of life, you're going to draw full of life individuals to you, right? So my next point is this. Don't spam your Instagram with your company. Don't spam your Instagram or Facebook with your company. I'm Academy. Don't do that, right? If people wanted to, to join a business, they would go on Google and type in 
I'm looking for a business to join. No, people not on Instagram looking for jobs. <laughs> Don't spam your Instagram with your company, right? My next point. And spamming just basically meaning just posting the compensation plan on your, on your story, um, posting a presentation on your story, on your page, on me, on, not on your story, but on your page, my bad. Don't just po don't spam your company. Like that turns people off, right? So my next point is this. You didn't get started in this business to just make your life business. You live your life and your business is gonna follow along with you living your life. See, most people get started in this and they, and they make their business just their life instead of making their life, instead of living their life and then doing their business as they live in their life. That's the type of thinking process that you want to have, right? Is this making, drop a one in the chat box if this is making sense. If this is making sense, because again, some of the stuff that, look, I'm, I'm telling y'all, live your life as you doing your business. Don't, you don't have to stop living your life. You can build your business as you live in your life. You don't have to just business, this is my life, instead of stop, instead of living your life and then doing your business as you live in your life. That's, that's, that's the key right there. That's the thinking process. My next point, um, my next point is this. So guys, people are nosy. People are nosy. All they want to see is if you live in your best life and that's it. Guess what? You live in your best life on your stories and that causes the engagement. That's what gets people interested in, yo, because you look like an interesting person. So people are nosy, family. Just look at it like, you know, before this, you, some of you ladies used to watch reality TV shows. Why? Because you was nosy. Women, you guys probably always, you guys are good detectives. Good detectives, we gonna say that. You guys find out what you guys wanna find out. People are nosy. So give them something to watch. Put on a show for them. That's called engagement. That's engagement, family, right? So, and my line, <laughs> nosy, <laughs> and not in a bad way, not in a bad way. So my next point is this. So when it comes to picture posting on Instagram, write this down. When it comes to picture posting on Instagram, the only thing that will bring you traffic to your opportunity is pictures of you actually looking good. The only thing that will bring uh, traffic to your opportunity and to your inbox is pictures that actually look good. It's pictures that actually, guys, ladies, if you got, look, I know you guys look up to celebrities and things like that. Look, get ideas from their pictures to start doing the same things that they be doing. Why do you think people look at a lot of celebrities because they pay to be dope and lit? So only thing that will bring traffic to your opportunity is pictures that is actually like dope, that actually look good, right? People want to see you living your best life and you should, as you should. And you living your best life is what actually draws and make your business blow up. See, when you're not living your best life, that doesn't get people motivated to actually want to hit you up. You got to think about it. So right now, the way that you feel behind the scenes, if you're not feeling good, why would somebody want to join that energy? But if you are living your best life and you want to move, people like that type of stuff. They want to see you, they want to see you like really living your best life. Um, no, the next point, make sure you have a video about what you're doing or about your company in your bio. In your bio. See, I got a calendar, a calendar because my network already know what I do. They already know what I do. So a lot of you guys be wanting to go platinum 1,000, platinum 2,000, platinum 5,000 or chairman 10. But at the same time, the only way that's going to happen is that people are nosy. You have to be able to expose a lot of people in a very short period of time. So again, nothing. And again, if you don't want to put a if you don't want to put a video on your bio, that's not a problem at all. But I'm just saying this, you guys can, uh, and, and again, you know, you got to understand this. Your network knows you. They know you. Or not even that. You guys can use your mentor's video to put in your bio. That's not a problem at all. Like, I know I, like I know tonight I'm making a new HFX uh, video that I'm posting on YouTube tonight that you guys can be able to leverage. Uh, and I will tell my story, things like that, so you guys can actually use. So that would be cool, too. Um, yeah, so cool. Just want to put that out there. So an example, an example, make sure that you have a video about what you're doing, uh, what you do and, and, and pretty much, you know, exactly, you know, exactly what is it, what is it you know, your bio and your bio need to be, you can put something like this. If you want to change your life and live like a boss, watch the video on my bio. If you want to change your life and live like a boss, some simple like that, watch the video on my bio. It can be anything. I'm just saying, I'm just giving you guys an example. Right, and what you think, they're gonna watch the video and hit you up in your DM. 
I guarantee you, because they watch it. Look, they watching your story anyway, so give them something to be nosy about. What? Get them something to be because again, they're gonna be watching your pay, your video. Yeah, they're gonna be watching your stuff every single day. So why not? You know, you see what I'm saying? Just expose them because again, eventually they're gonna get started when they want to get started. Okay, cool. My next point. Um, on my next point. So cool. Number one, my next point. You have to do research. My next point. You have to do research. So where do you want to travel to? What do you want to tour to? And your look for your business. For your business, because you you know for your business. Where do you want to travel to? Where do you want to tour to? Or where do you want to live at? You need to follow people who are in those places that you want to travel to, tour to, and, and live in. Why in the heck would I want to go to Montana? That, that's boring. Montana. Why, would, why the heck would I want to go to like a boring state? So what I'm saying is, you guys want to follow people that's living in the states that you want to tour to, that you want to have a team at, things like that. Right? I wanted to have a team in in uh, LA, in California, things like that. So I started networking people in California, San Diego, Seattle, New York, right? I network with people in that area. So now if I want to travel, I can travel there because I, I know somebody that lives there. So you guys need to start networking it with people that, that live in cities that you guys want to actually tour and travel travel to, right? Um, Cool, my next point, anytime I travel, guys, oh, so my next point, check this out. One second. So cool. My next point, family. Anytime I travel, I go to Google and I type in perfect example. So like, let's just say I want to go to. I'm going to Arizona. So things to do and so cool. So guys, I'm going to Arizona this weekend for a leadership retreat um for leisure retreat so look so me going to arizona so when i go to different cities family i type this in on google so things to do in arizona so if you know if you're a real entrepreneur we know how to make three days look like three weeks if you're a real entrepreneur we know how to make two days look like two weeks like we've been up for two weeks so me going to arizona this weekend um you want to type so places you travel to things like that whatever cities you in you want to search up on Google things to do in that city. So now when I'm going, okay, cool. When I go to Arizona, uh, I'm going to take out an hour. I might stay there even an extra day, right? I'm going to go to the Grand Canyon. What else? I'm going to go to the Grand Canyon. Uh, well, look, 15 best things to do in Arizona. So cool. So when I go, I can write down ideas. We know how to make three days look like three weeks. So cool. I know I'm going to go on a helicopter ride. I'm going to go to the Grand Canyon. Uh, what else? I know I'm gonna go hiking, things like that. His historical, you know, tours. These are things that I'm gonna do when I go to Arizona, right? Look, check it out. Oh, I might even go there. I never, I never did that before. That's lit. So what I'm saying is, family, if you're an entrepreneur, you know, we know how to make three days look like three weeks. Museum, okay, things like that. So if is it making sense? Drop a two in the chat box, family. If this making sense, if y'all getting value. Are you guys getting value? Is this making sense? It's lit. We lit. We lit then. This is lit. Same thing if you're in your city. If you're in your city, type in things to do in your city and you go do those things. So as you go in and you, you got a video and then you got you taking pictures, you can take pictures in all these places, get it on camera, video, all that stuff. And a lot of stuff don't even cost a lot of money. Right? So I just want to give you guys that as far as ideas on what, where you guys should be taking pictures at, things like that. You living your life. So my next point, look, people need to see that you outside. Well, not even outside. Look, people need to see that you out. People need to see, people need to see that you out, right? So, or if you're not outside or if you're not, if you're not out, um, you, you, if you're not out, um, you're going to need to think about where are people at in this city? Write that down. If you're not out doing things like this, you need to be thinking in your head, where are majority of people were in this city where are the majority of people at in this in this in this city family so if you think about that write this down you got to think about in that city okay what are because things are people that that people are at they are clubs 
People are at hookah lounges. Teens, millennials are at hookah lounges. They are at restaurants. They are at colleges. They are at colleges, right? They are, think about all of the colleges that's in your city. The, the, if you a college student building this business, majority of people who you want to find is at colleges. You are in a networking business to network with people. The colleges have clubs. You know how many clubs a college has? Do you know if you just network with the leaders of that club and build a relationship with them, you get the whole the college club? That's a platinum 1,000 right there. So what I'm saying is, family, don't sleep on colleges because colleges is, is, a, is, a, gold mine, is a gold mine for your business. Come on, I didn't even go to college, family. I got this far without college. Guys, college, this is the thing. This business is nothing but a numbers game. The person that exposes the most people, whether they join or not, is going to blow up. So why would you not want to attack colleges to network with people to plant the ideas in their head? Because when you do that, again, you want to you wanna go platinum 600, expose 100 people, 10 out of those 100 people in that, in that, in that club is going to get started. Think about it, and it's a, it's different from being being it's different being in person. Uh huh. Again, that's the idea. So my next point is this, family. Oh, they also at nail salons for my women. The la the ladies be at nail salons. I, I literally went to uh, the beauty supply store with with, with me and Number McCoy today to to go get some do rags. We saw a lot of women, a lot of women there, a lot. We like, man, this like the mall. This like a this like the mall for women. I'm like, we could just post them right there. I'm like, okay. I'm like, I've never seen this much, this many women in one place before. I'm like, that's crazy. So what I'm saying is you got to go to places where people at in order to network and meet new people, right? I'm just being real, family. <laughs> My next, why? Because women want to get their hair done. So we got to go to the, to the, to the, to the uh, beauty salon, the beauty supply store, whatever you got to call it, right? To get their Brazilian, right? No, I was just playing. I got I got four sisters, family. I, I know I know how that works. <laughs> so my next point, <laughs> y'all y'all playing too much. <laughs> All right, check this out. Check this out, y'all. Look at my next point. When it come to colleges, when it come to colleges, you want to do this when it comes to colleges. So check this out. I'm finna get y'all a nugget. I'm finna get y'all a nugget. Check this out. So me going to this. When it comes to colleges, I'm gonna search up this on my on, on, a, on the search bar. Let me type in Morehouse College. Let me type in Morehouse. Well, actually, um, no, Vicky, what what is it called? Uh, you so I'm gonna type in UIC in Chicago. UIC. So UIC. Mm -hmm. UIC. Okay. So when I type in UIC, um, why is it not coming up? You search it. <clears throat> Those are all the different pages they got. So when I type in UIC, <clears throat> no, nah, I want to do UIC. I don't want to do UIC. Let me do um Morehouse. Check this out. So when I do Morehouse College, so when I type in Morehouse College on Instagram, not I'm not gonna find. I don't care about the hashtag. I don't care about the page. What I'm looking for is why is it not showing up? Hmm. One second, family. Okay, I might have to go on my phone for one second. So check this out. I'm actually gonna show my screen. Give me. I'm gonna hop on on my phone to show y'all. One second, family. I shut my screen. I gotta actually make me host. Okay, perfect. Can you guys hear me? Yes, sir. All right, check this out. Check this out. Yes, sir. So check this out. So as I'm going to Instagram. I'm gonna go to my I'm gonna go to my search bar and I'm gonna type in what? I'm gonna type in Morehouse. I'm gonna I'm just give you guys an example of the college. So let's just say I typed in Morehouse, right? 
And when I go to it, don't click on top, don't click on accounts, don't click on tags, click on places, click on the geo tag. So when I click on the geo tag, guess what? I can see everybody that uses location that wow. goes to this college. That, that goes to this college. That's a nugget, bro. I, I ain't never know that. <laughs> look, look. So as I did that, I clicked on the geo tag. Imagine you, every time you post a picture, don't you always put the location? Put the geo tag. So you search in the geo tag. And this goes for anything. So as I put the geo tag in, guess what? I can see it'll let me see everyone at this place or so everybody that go to Morehouse. So boom, this is a person I, I know him. He used to be in the business. I'm, I'm gonna hit on back up. I'm gonna watch this story just so watch this. Um boom. Let's do that. I don't I know him personally. Um uh, again. So now I can see every single body that go that that actually uses location that go to this college. What's today? The 20 the 25th. This is 17. You can see everybody that uses location. That's new. That's new. That's that's literally fresh and new. That's at this location. Everybody. Oh, that's 2019. That's that's crazy. But uh, if you want to look for the most recent ones, it's the ones that's all the way, all the way to the left. The ones that's all the way to the left, it's usually the most recent ones, though. But you can see everybody that actually uses location. So look, look at all these people. Y'all, y'all would have never knew. Look at all these, look at all these lady bosses. Look at all these people. I don't even know who this is. Yeah. Um, look, but as you guys can see, look at all these quality individuals. Let's say somebody give me, and this is the thing. This goes for anything. Let's just say, um, okay, cool. I'm in Chicago right now. We got some, it's a club out here called what? Adriana's. <laughs> I don't think I need to play Adriana's. Um, somebody give me a location. I need a location. I need a location. Somebody give me a location to type in something. The Paul. The Paul. The Paul. The, the Paul. The Paul University. Check this out. The Paul University. If I want to, if I click on this, look at all of these people that go to the Paul. Look at all of these people that go to the pod that you can network with. They super, super quality people. Super quality people. Boom. You would have never knew. Would have never knew. Cool. So I hope y'all look. I'm gonna do the University of Washington. Uh you dub. How you how, hey, what is it? So you dub. How you how you spell it? What is it? U dub. U W. Oh, you, okay, UW. So cool. Um, and afterwards, we almost done. But cool, University um, of Washington. Check this out. Everybody that used the University of Washington location, check this out. I can see every single body that, that, you, that used the location, right? I'm following people who I feel like I can relate to, right? So I'm just giving you guys an example. I'm gonna follow him too. I never, yeah. So cool. Now that y'all got that, perfect. I just want to, I just want to put that out there. Um. Maybe I'll ask a question. Hello, can you guys hear me? Yes sir. yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, perfect. So, yeah, who said they got a question? I got a question. It's Anjanae here. Yeah, go ahead. A quick question. So, as you're going through finding quality people, how can you ensure that they follow you back so you can keep your ratio? I'm about to give it to you. Trust me. Oh, okay. All right. I'm about to give it to you. So, look, my next, my next point. Check this out. Mind you, if you want to build a team with someone, if you want to build a team with someone, you have to make this host. Yeah, so if you want to build a team with someone, number one, oh, let me actually share this. I'm going to show you. Why did I? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, perfect. Check this out. So let me go back to um what hashtag? Uh, Morehouse. I'm going to go to Morehouse. So check this out. If you want to build a team with someone, number one is this. Number one is this. Check this out. I'm going to use this. I'm, I'm, I need somebody for an example. Um, perfect example. Oh, perfect example. 
if you want to build a team with someone, perfect example, what you do is you follow them. And once you follow them, you need to like three of their photos. Three dope photos. This dope. I like that band. So that's what I'm going to get. Um... And I'm gonna like this one. So you need to like, first you follow them, you like three of their photos and then you need to leave a comment. So, you know, it needs to be something genuine, something, something genuine. Like, you know, you know I, I, I love shoes too, this man dripped out. I see about his bread. He like nice things. Carry yourself in a in a manner of um, you know, really getting to it. Um, and at the same time, this man can hold, you know, when it comes to business, he know how to handle, he know how to hold himself up well. So this is a person I can relate to. So me doing that, um, guess what? Guess what just happened? So most individuals will literally come to your page like hella pictures and stuff, but check this out. I just gave this man five notifications. One, the, the notification is this. Number one, I just follow him. Number two, I like three of his photos. And number four, I just like the comment. I just left the comment. That's five notifications. That's gonna give, get a person attention to come to your page to check out your page. You see, rather than just liking all of their pictures, I like three pictures, I follow him, and I left the comment. That's five notifications. That person right, that person's gonna come to my page and, 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 and figure out who the heck is this guy that's showing love. That's gonna get him engaged enough to check out my profile. Right? So cool. My next point, check this out. I'm actually... Cool. So my next point is this, family. My next point is this. If you do more, you will get more. If you do more with... Guys, if you do more, you will get more. If you do this, you will get a lot of people engaged at your page. If you do more, you automatically get more. And you will get a lot of engagement coming to your page. My next point. You need to follow 100 people a day. If you're really serious about talking about, I want to go to the next level, you need to follow 100 people a day. I, I just showed you guys how to find new people. You need to be following 100 new people a day. That's 700 people a week. That's 28 pe people a month. That's 100 people a day, 700 people a week, and 28 people a month. Guys, you can't tell me you can't go platinum 2,000 or platinum 5,000 with that type of momentum. All right, guys, the same way that you guys are putting the time when it comes to, you know, your business and, your, and, and when it comes to trading, guys, social media is like up there too. That is like the most important thing. You have to put some work in when it comes to your branding. You have to go out there and network and meet new people. You have to. Guys, look how many contacts that I have on my phone. Yes, look, look how many contacts I have on my phone. I have 2,200 contacts. 2,200 contacts. They say your network is your net worth if you allow it to be, right? So I'm giving you guys an example. Cool, my next point is this, family. That's the only way that you guys are gonna get attention to your brand. That's the only way you get attention. And that's the minimum. Some of you guys might follow more people, but that's the minimum. And, it, and again, family, this is what's gonna get you engaged. My next point is this. So my next point is this. Family, I don't care. Let me actually show my screen. Cool. So understand this, family. I, I don't care who you are. I don't care what rank you are. I don't care who you are. I don't care what rank you are. It's someone in your city. There's someone in your city that can come in and blow your business up. I don't care who you are. There is someone in your city, right, who you don't know that can come in and do what you do plus more and blow your city up. That's in your city, I mean, that can blow your business up. There's someone on your college campus that who you don't know that can come in and do what you do, plus more, and blow your business up and make you more money than you've ever made in your life. But understand this, family. Understand this. So if you want people who wants to build, you have to go out and find what? People that love to build. Guys, think about it. Who is people 
that love to build. People that love to build are networkers. Who are networkers? Networkers are bottle girls. These are leaders. These are promoters, etc. Right? Because these are people that know people. See, you in a people business. You see, to be a promoter, you have to be a leader. To be a leader of a club, you have to be a leader. Leader, right? Bottle girls. They they know people. So what I'm saying is, you need to be networking with networkers because those are people that can come in and go platinum 1,000 in a week. Things like that. Because if you got an organization full of people that that's not networkers, that's why your business looks like the way it looks right now. Because none of them networkers, right? So um, Cash the Great, Chairman 100. He was a, he was a, he was a uh, promoter. He was a party promoter too, right? Um, just give you guys examples. Um, cool. My next point is this. So when it comes to pictures, pictures to post, and again, family, um, we're gonna be about. 15 to 20 more minutes, but it's gonna, I'm, I'm not even getting into like, I haven't even gotten to what I want to get into yet, right? So when it comes to pictures to post, if you are posting pictures, if you are posting and your pictures isn't interesting, you're not going to get any engagement at all. You're not going to get any engagement at all. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look, I'm, I'm, gonna, you know, I'm gonna keep it 100, right? I'm, I'm a student always, but I'm, I'm gonna give you guys examples. Check, check this out. See, most people think this business is, is just all about posting about Forex, but it's really not. It's really not. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you something. So I, I study a lot of people. So if your pitches isn't interesting and you're you're not going to get any engagement at all. See, engagement has nothing to do about your business. See, if you're just a pure interesting person, people want to check you out. I, I'm gonna use this. I know, I know this, I know this, I know her, I know this girl personally. So so let me let me go to Harmony page. Let me go to Harmony page. So cool. So Harmony, she she she's a chairwoman twenty five. Harmony chairwoman twenty year old chairman twenty five. So when I go to Harmony page for my women, check this out. So if you go to her page, some of her pictures are interesting. Like women, you guys have in a guys, you guys have a an advantage. If you're a woman in this business, you guys have a advantage you guys have an advantage if you're a woman so if i go to harmony page you know you don't even need all but look how much engagement she, look, just look at the engagement on her page look at the engagement on her page right um let me go to her followers because i think we following let me see i want to show you guys another oh cool 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 check this out so so check this out so with kb so she's about to knock out your woman's hand so if you go to her page check this out Look, she's posting a picture of her in the Range Rover. Look how much engagement she got. 40 comments, that, right? If you go to her page, her page is full of life. It's, it's full of life. She, put, she take a picture in front of Nima Marcus. Look how much engagement she got. Posting a picture in front of Nima. Look, it's just about the engagement, family. Like, I'm not telling you to do this, but what I'm saying, nah, I ain't telling you to do that. I ain't telling you to do all that. <laughs> I ain't telling you to do all that. <laughs> but uh, if you go to her page, uh. It's full of life. It's full of life. It's full of life. Look, now she's standing by some palm trees. 78 comments. I ain't telling you all that. Again, look, she, she's, it's full of life. Her page is woke, right? I hope y'all really understand it. It's, it's, it's woke. I'm just telling you, give y'all examples. Let me go to my man Ruben's. So if I go to my man Ruben's page, check this out. <laughs> so if you, go to, if you go to his page, it's, it's, it's full of life, right? He posting pictures with bags in his hand. It's just engagement, family. It's just literally engagement. It's just literally engagement. If you go to my page, if you go to my page, it's 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 it's, it's full of life. It's engagement. Look how much engage. Look at the engagement. Look at the post. The post, right? It's it's full of. Look, you could post about food. It's engagement. Look, forty nine. Look, forty nine people reshared this. It's engagement. Right? It's drawing traffic. Look, 43, it's engagement, family. So what I'm saying is, look, it's engagement. The person that gets the most engagement is going to draw the most traffic to their page. And this, you guys can study any chairman for this, family. I'm just going to give you guys examples. So let me go to Mr. Banks. Now, I think, I think Nate, Nate, he, he's the king of this. this. He's one of the king of this. That man's always posting just straight value. It doesn't always have to be about about money, things like that. He's posting fitness. Look at that. He's posting fitness. 
things like that. So look, the type of pictures that you guys want to be posting is motivational pictures, funny pictures, food, lifestyle, and the most important pictures is the lifestyle pictures. The most important pictures is the lifestyle pictures, right? Is the lifestyle pictures. Things like that. I'm just giving you guys examples. Um, and I'm going to show you guys a couple Instagrams. So look at Austin Gossie. So if I go to Austin Gossie page, page, so if I go to Austin Gossie page, his page is full of what? Motivation, funny pictures, food, and lifestyle. Look at this. He's posting food, right? That's it. He's just posting food. That's it. Look how many, look at, look at his engagement. Look at his engagement. Look, lifestyle, motiv motivation. Look, funny pictures. Look, that's it. All he, all he did was take a picture in front of um, books and a, and a mask. Look how much engagement this man is getting. Look, this man took a picture with three laptops on the, on the top of a Tahoe. Look, I bet, you know, y'all do trade night. Yo, go, you know, go, go take three laptops and go take a picture next to a nice car. Engagement. Look how much engagement he got. Um, just give you guys examples, right? He posts motivational stuff. I'm just giving y'all an example. For my women, I'm going to give y'all a couple um, women who y'all can actually model. Um, answer. I like, I like answer page. So if you go to answer page, so answer, she posts motivational stuff. She posts, you know, personal things. She, she so lifestyle, um, things like that. I'm just giving you guys examples. Um, Kata Bomb, cool. She posting lifestyle. She's cool. Lifestyle, that's cool. Motivational stuff. I'm just giving you guys examples. For, so for the women, Noelle Trumple too. I'm, I'm going to go to her page too. So if you go to Noelle Trumple page, so she's posting what? Lifestyle. She's posting lifestyle, lifestyle, lifestyle. But again, because she looked like she enjoying her life, don't you think people want to actually engage in what the heck she's what, what the heck she's doing? Right? Um, cool. Let me see. I'm just giving y'all examples, family. We, we we almost done. I'm gonna show y'all one more. I'm gonna show y'all one more. Let's use my man knowledge. So I'm gonna use my man knowledge. So if you go to knowledge page, so this man is posting lifestyle. Cool. So this man is posting lifestyle. Um, yeah, motivation, things like that. I mean, you know, you don't gotta do that. <laughs> but I mean, look, he just being himself. He's showing motivation, he's showing the charts. Look, he just got a regular picture and he's showing the charts. Just, just, just giving you guys examples on, you know, things you post, you know, in front of a car. Just give you guys examples because again, if when a person comes to your page, it needs to be full of life. If it's not full of life, it's not going to be interesting, family. You guys, one thing I noticed when when it comes to my Instagram, look, when I start posting things that's full of life, my engagement went through the roof. Like my my engagement literally went through the roof. Like. I started, I, I'm literally starting to attract so many lady bosses and so many, like, men of, uh, that, that's hustlers, like, freaking crazy, as I began to post way more lifestyle pictures and things like that, because you are who you attract. See, if you're an interesting person, you're going to attract interesting people. Just look at the engagement from the, from the past hour. It's going up like crazy, right? These are people, uh, uh, this is, these are, you know, individuals just from, just from today, the engagement. And look, if I look at the stories, if I look at the Instagram stories as well, too, like, look, what I'm saying is you are who you attract. So if you want to attract lady bosses and, and, and men that, that actually have, you know, that has, you know, a lot of value to bring to the table, you need to start putting out what you want to attract, right? It's a different caliber of people who you attract when you post in lifestyle. You start to attract a lot of hustlers, I promise you, right? So my next point, um, cool. <clears throat> my next point is this. We almost done, family. Ten more minutes. Ten more minutes. So, another thing, too. So, if you're, you're a pay... Let me actually unshut my screen. One second, family.
All right, cool. We almost done, family. You're gonna be about ten more minutes. Gonna be, we almost done. Cool. Can y'all still see my screen? Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, cool, cool, cool. So my next point is this: your page need to be about you. So again, I told you guys, who are you? Your page need to be about you, and um, yeah, your page, your, your page need to be about you, and your page also need to be about what it is that you do. So if you do forex trading and binary options. Your page needs to be about what you do as well, too. Because again, and also outside of that, you need to be personable. You need to be personable. You need to be yourself when it comes to your when it comes to your brand. You need to be yourself a hundred percent. Don't hold anything back. Be yourself. Don't be afraid to show that because you being yourself is what gets people to step out their comfort zone to join you because they, they feel comfortable being around your energy, right? My next point. So when it comes to your Instagram stories, you have to look at your Instagram stories like it's FaceTime. Look at your Instagram story like you get to FaceTime 500 people, right? You guys, on, you guys have an iPhone. You guys need to look at your Instagram story like it's FaceTime. Like you get to talk to 500 people. Um, my next point, so check this out. So if I look at my Instagram story, so if I look at my Instagram story, this is like literally little, like my stuff literally being in the thousands, but uh, I'm just showing you guys this. This is like a dry day. This is like a dry day. So engagement so far. I got 400 people today that actually you know, saw my story as I'm going through it. Because again, it's the engagement of the things that I'm posting. Right? Just give you guys examples. I'm, I'm being personable. I'm showing them what they look. The more you be personable, like people want to see what's going on behind the scenes. They're going to like really want to watch your story. Right? I'm going live as well, so I'm talking about what I do. As I'm doing that, I'm starting to gain way more engagement, way more engagement to my page because I, I look like I'm alive, right? And I'm not just posting any type of filter. I'm, I'm using filters that, that, that glow, that's, that's like interesting. People wanna watch those stuff like it's TV, not even lying, right? Just give you guys examples. Yo, Instagram story, treat it like it's a uh, re reality TV show. Make it lit, because if your stuff look lit, that's what's gonna get people to keep watching your story, and then boom, you hit on what you do, they gonna wanna do it, right? So, my next point, um, engagement, you need to be, so every night before you go to sleep, you need to write down things that you're gonna be posting on your Instagram story to bring engagement to your page every day, every single day. What creative things can you bring to your page to, to, to spark the engagement like do giveaways, do giveaways, things like that. Like things that's gonna get people engaged to your page to really pay attention to what you're doing. That's the type of things that you need to be putting out there, right? So my next point is this. You need to be educating your network on what you do. You need to educate your network on what you do. A lot of people say, JV, I don't know how I'm gonna get people to actually um, join my business. Well, the thing is this, they would have already joined you if they understood what you did. You see, you posting charts, you posting about, you posting about pip flyers, you posting about people ranking up, explain to your network what the heck is a platinum 1000. Hey, look, a platinum 1000 is this, you know? You know, if you position other people to actually learn how to make money from their phone, you know, they bringing in an extra thousand dollars a month from home. Boom. You know, you at home right now, but are you bringing in an extra thousand dollars? You got to educate them on what you do, because if a person is naturally educated on what the heck you do, they're going to be like, oh, dang, I need to do it too. That makes sense. So don't be afraid to uh, position yourself as an educator, because don't talk about Forex to your network or binary options to your network without helping them understand what the heck that you do. They seeing you, but they don't understand. That's why they haven't started. So it's okay to talk about what you do on your story. Don't be afraid to doing that because how is people gonna join you if they don't even know what you're doing? So once you explain it, yo, DM me for more information, right? My next point. My next point on social media, you have to get noticed. You need to get noticed on social media. What do I mean get noticed? You have to do things that's gonna get your attention. It doesn't matter what you do. If it's gonna get your attention, do it. If you need to do collaborations with other influencers, do that, but you need attention. See what I did in the past, I used to network with big YouTubers and I'm still doing it to this day. I network with big YouTubers uh, that got that, like perfect example, y y uh, Yamila, boom. Right, I'm, I'm, she, she's gonna do the business. I hope you watch, this, you watch this video later on down the line, Yamila. So she's gonna join the business. I'm gonna get her to join the business. So she got 12 million YouTube subscribers on YouTube. 
I'm going to do a collaboration with her this weekend, right? So what I'm saying is her network is coming to who page? My page. That's more, guys, doing collaborations with, with influencers is going to bring their traffic to your page. These are things that you need to come up with ways of how you can bring in, um, you know, engagement to your page every day. So my next point is this. Your Instagram, again, like I said, your Instagram honestly need to be lit. Um, Instagram is a huge photo shoot. Facebook and Instagram is a huge photo shoot. You have to look at it like it's a big photo shoot. The person that's the most creative is going to blow up the most. The person with the most ideas is going to blow up the most. See, what blows you up is the person that's having the most ideas. Right? The person that's the most creative is going to blow up. Anything that gets attention is everything. My next point, um, not to be rude, but if your Instagram is boring, it ain't going to get no engagement. If you posting all day about business, 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 I wouldn't even want to watch your stuff. That's boring. That's boring, family. I'm not going to lie. You talking, yeah, if you post all day about business, business, that's okay, cool. Go live your life as you posting about your business. But if all you posting is the charts all day, you showing a plan all day, no wrong with it at all, but your network want to see you having fun, family. That's one thing I dumped it down to, right? That's one thing I literally dumped it down to. Um... Cool. My next point is this. You have to position yourself as an expert when it comes to yo, well, what it is that you do. Because people follow people that, that, that are super confident about what they do. If you don't, if you don't position yourself as an expert, they're going to go find somebody else that does position themselves as an expert. And that's a chairman. And that person might join that chairman. You might be mad because you, you didn't want to educate them on what you do. Yes. People, I had somebody tell me today, well, JV, I know a lot of people that does Forex, but I've been following you for the past couple of months. You've been consistent. I see that you're really getting results from it. And you really, you really seem like you know what you're talking about. She's like, he said he want to sign up. Huge influencer. So what I'm saying is, if you don't position yourself like an expert, that person's going to join the chairman. I had it happen to me plenty of times. Trust me. My next point, you need to have a call of action. So after every post you post, or in your bio, have a call of action about what you do in your bio or something like, you know, um, DM me invest for more information, something like that. Because as you post this engagement, you get in traffic. Now you need a call of action to get people in your DMs, right? How can they reach you? Are they going to reach you through a number or an email? How are, gonna, how are they going to be able to contact you about what you do? So you post about your business. You got engagement. Now what's your call to action, family? You need to have a number where they can reach you at. What they, should they reach you? Should they reach you on your DMs? Should they, should they reach you by email? What's your call to action? My next two points and we done is this. No one on Instagram is looking for a job. They not. They looking for people that's lit. Because their life are, is naturally boring because they work in a job. So if your life not interesting, why should they join somebody else that's boring? So the most interesting lit person, they're gonna join you. So what I'm saying is family, people make this business harder than it has to be. Look, I'm gonna tell you this. This is 2020. I know we do network marketing, that's, but this is, the tw this is 2020. You have to understand that it's, it's, it's what's attractive what blows your business up. It's what's fun that blows your business up. Because if your lifestyle more fun than that job, than school, they're gonna put all their energy towards what you do. But you have to make it so freaking fun that a person like, I had somebody hit me up today on my DM saying, JVL, man, you look like you have fun, bro. Look, here's my number. Call me, call me, call, call me in like two hours. I said, bet, send me your number. I'm going to call him. I'm calling him in like an hour after this call. So what I'm saying is, family, this is 2020, guys. Like, this is not the typical network marketing age. This is, this is different. You can have fun being yourself as you build your business, right? But you got to have a call to action. My next point is this. The more you follow, I mean, the, the, the more you follow, the more you'll be noticed. The more people you follow, the more your page is going to get noticed, right? So um, last but not least, I'm going to show y'all two more things, and then we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. And I'm going to open it up for Q&A for like, for like max four questions, four questions. So my, my next point is this. Um, and come up with ideas too, family. Like this is for your business. You see, your mentor is not, I'm not going to do it for nobody. I'm going to give you ideas, but I'm, you have to put in the work and time for your business. I built my social media from 2,000 followers to almost 20K organically, putting in the work. I know what it feel like to grind. 
You don't have to do this all day. If you can put in an hour a day towards really following 100 people and, and like really engaging with, with 100 people, that's perfect, right? Because again, if you wonder why you can't sign anybody up, it's due to the fact that you just, you, you're looking at it from a business aspect instead of living your life and then having about your business. So this is Mr. Banks. His page is lit. When you go to his page, it's full of life. Full of life. It's full of life. Things like that. Uh, and I just told you guys how to turn y'all brand up. Um, my next point, let's see. Let me look at my DMs. So I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to show you guys what I say when I'm, on, when I'm in the DMs. I'm going to show y'all what I say when I'm in the DMs. Look. Let's connect soon, bro. How to catch up. Yeah, that, that, that one right there going up and down. So, yep, you must have that one on the shelf. All right, check this out. Check this out. Uh -huh. We all done. <laughs> so, check this out. Um, What do you say? Bro, this guy, <laughs> this guy be thirsty. I ain't going to lie. This guy be thirsty. So, look, check this out. So, uh, if I go to my request, check this out. I'm going to show y'all what I'm sending in the DMs. I'm going to show y'all what I'm sending in the DMs when it comes to networking. Um, he said, I'm interested in, check this out. I'm interested in learning uh, Forex. I was wondering if you could help me out. Except primary. Check this out. When I'm in the DMs, all I'm saying is three things. Write this down. I'm asking them, you know, where you from? What do you do? No, where you from? No, where you from? How you like it? What do you do? How you like it? And then afterwards, I asked them about a little bit about them two to three questions. I flipped the switch and I'll be like, I'll be like, oh yeah, that's that's dope. But you know, a little bit about myself. I'm I'm from Chicago, blah, blah, blah. I didn't go to college, I ain't working a job. Uh, I'm actually a full-time investor. I trade in a forex market and a binary options market. Uh, and I also position people. Um, I'm gonna just show y'all the message. Look, I'm gonna just show y'all the message. I got I already got messages already typed up. Hold on. Where are you from? If you don't mind me asking, bro. Question mark. And it's the thing, guys. As you taking a person through the form, you need to get their number and get out the DM as soon as possible. And not only that, guys, check this out. Realistically, family, I really don't even text no more in the DMs. I honestly send voice messages because, again, I don't, I don't care about texting. I need you to hear my voice. I want to become personal as possible, family. You need to become personable. Send people voice messages. That, that throws them off. That literally throws them off. Because if you make it personable, I guarantee you that they're going to be open to what you have to say. You know, hey, look, I'm a full-time investor. I don't work a job while I don't go to school. I also trade in the forex and cryptocurrency market as well, too. Do you know what that is? Question mark. Do you know what that is? They're going to say no. Oh, well, I mean, I don't mind explaining it to you if you open, you know, question mark. Oh, yeah, what it's about? Well, look, I don't be on my Instagram DMs like that. What's your number so we can connect from there? Because I feel like it's way more personable. Way more personal. Way, way more personal. Right? Just to give y'all an example. This is Nini. This is Nini. Okay, I'm going to show y'all about Nini. Nini, you on the line. Shout out to Nini. And it's the last one. I'm going to actually go ahead and end the call. Um, check this out. Nini, hit me up. Check this out. Nini on the line. She just had a five hundred dollar withdrawal from HFX. Guess what? Nini has how many followers on social media? I'm coming for you, Nini. I ain't gonna lie. You got ten k followers. Stop playing. You need to be making ten k a month. So Nini got nine thousand followers on Instagram. Nini, I'm not playing. You launching? <laughs> she launching. I ain't playing. Yo, you launching, Nini? I don't care. So look, she got nine thousand followers on social media, but she ain't ready right now. She said she wanted to launch. So Nini Page. If I go to Nini Page, she's a family person. So she gets uh, engagement. She got some engagement. She way more personable, but she got 9,000 followers. So how the conversation was when, when me and Nene connected, she said, you train people right. And she found my page out of nowhere. She told me that she found my page off the uh, Explorer, like off the Explorer page, right? Because of my engagement. So she said, you train people. I said, hey, how you doing today? And yeah, where are you from? Boom. I said that. Uh, that's not, that's, that's the problem. I don't. Boom. I said, I feel that for sure. So what do you do? You work or you go to school, anything? No, not at the moment. And then I sent a voice message and I said, yeah, I'm an investor, but I teach people how to value their time over a piece of paper money. 
but I also trade uh, cryptocurrency and Forex. Boom. That's cool. And I sent the voice message. I said, she said, I know a little bit about trading, not that much. And then I said, boom, what's your number? Are you free? And I, what did I say? I said, what's your number so I can send you some more information? Uh, so I can send you some more info from there. Okay. And what's your name again? I don't believe I ever asked my JVL. And then boom, I got her number and name, all that. Nene, hey, look, they ain't gonna hit you up. They ain't gonna hit you up. It's all good. But yeah, right there. That's 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 how I am in every single DMs, family. I don't care who it is, that's what I do. So that's pretty much everything. I did not want to be long at all. I promise you, I just want to give you guys some value, uh, let you guys know how I think. Um, this is how I think personally. And um, yeah, that's that's pretty much everything. So with all that being said, I can open up the call for for three to four questions, tops, tops, tops. Uh, so go, go, so go ahead and open it up. Who, does anybody have any questions? I got a question. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, would it be best to have your account as public rather than keep it on private? Yes, yes, keep your page public because again, it cannot be on private because how in the heck are you supposed to get engagement? And make it as a business page as well, too. You making it as a business page is going to give you engagements. Uh, so, Bree, I know you have a question. You can unmute your line. Yeah, if you got a question. Um, on, so, Bree, do you got a question? Um, I just wanted to know what were the three things you focused on. I know you said, where are you from and what do you do? What was the last one? So where you from, how you like it, what do you do, how you like it, and then you transition it to a, a, a little bit about you. Oh <clears throat> um, any, Andre, go ahead. Okay, I'm just, uh, I was on one of your social media calls before. I'm um, asking pretty much for everybody. Um, what are the best times out of the day to um, post? 12, 3, 6, and 9. 12, 3, 6, and 9. All right. Um, can you check? Uh, Patrick, go ahead, bro. You got a question? No, nah, I was just saying um, you could check your insights um, if you change it to a business profile so you can see when your audience is engaged on your profile. Yep. So uh, we can take one more question before we wrap it out. I'm gonna put these calls. I'm gonna put this call on YouTube as well too. Sorry, I got a question. Oh, go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. I can't hear you. Oh, what's up, bro? Um, how do you go about like honestly telling your like old friends? How do you, how do you, how do you go about on telling your close friends? Uh, how, do I, how do I tell my close yeah. friends about uh, what I do? Uh, I said. Oh shit, my bad. <laughs>